All right, so let's talk about Star Wars and comic books. So I've got two here. I've got Star Wars 2 and 3. And then I have the Darth Vader book, which is actually really good. Uh, if you want a, a quick tip for some good stuff to read, the Darth Vader books are actually really good. The Marvel Darth Vader books are actually pretty solid. The first set starts right after um, Revenge of the Sith. Then there's a set that starts, you know, in between Empire Strikes or A New Hope and Empire Strikes Back. And now this takes place between Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. So that's kind of how they're doing it. And, you know, I don't know what happens after this. They, I would imagine they're probably going to tell the story between uh, Return of the Jedi and Force Awakens, which <laughs> I don't think anybody wants to know that story because the ending is trash. So how are these books? So Darth Vader is really good. Let me go into Darth Vader. This book takes place right after, you know, Luke and him meet on the in Cloud City. And it's Darth Vader mad, you know, like, how did I not know about him? I want to know what happened. I want to know who hid him from me. So he's trying to find out how, you know, Luke Skywalker grew up to be a young man and he never knew about him. And he gets some really good storytelling. So he goes to Tatooine and he's remembering things like when he was there and during the Clone Wars movie. And at the end, he actually ends up going to Padme's house, uh on Coruscant and then he runs into Padme's uh, the the theory the running theory is her handmaiden from Empire or from Phantom Menace so I'd say that's likely true we'll see uh this one's this one's story is actually good, pretty good and here's the thing with this one they actually draw the art why am I saying that well let me show you the art in the Star Wars book okay so you can see it right here this is what they do. So, and it's weird. They only do this with the Star Wars book. With Darth Vader, they actually do real art. I think so. You know, I'm not an art expert compared to a lot of other people. But it looks like they're actually drawing that. Okay, maybe using a reference on a screen. With this, they're actually using a table and tracing Google images to draw these art. There's a long series of YouTube videos. I've done one. Where they where you can see that they just Google Google image ships. They've stolen fan ships, fan designs. Uh, for example, like this, they're likely taking a reference and tracing a picture of Chewie to the side and Lando on the side, like he was in Return of the Jedi. So that's my guess, and I'd say it's probably a good guess. They've been doing this consistently. The entire time that they've had these books, it's like, why don't you just, why don't you just draw the book? And it ends up looking really awkward. You want to know Marvel? If you're watching this, you want to know why these books end up selling thirty thousand when you're done with them? Like when you, when you get rolling, it's because you're doing this trash art. Just draw it like a normal comic book. It's the entire series is like this. And uh, another complaint I have, I don't think Charles Soule is that bad of a writer, but one thing that he's doing in this book is turning Lando into kind of a degenerate. Like, Lando's, like, making backwards deals with Jabba the Hutt and stuff. It's like he's not really with the Alliance, like it seemed like at Empire, at the end of Empire Strikes Back. They're turning him back into a to a scumbag, which is a huge, a huge 360 for the character. And the story's kind of boring. They're going back to Cloud City. One cool thing is at the end of this issue, Leia gets frozen in carbonite. But it's like, I don't know. I, I'll stick with it for a little bit and see if I like it. Uh, I'm definitely going to stick with the Darth Vader book, though. That I'm, I'm curious about and I'm liking so far. They actually do real art and the story is pretty interesting. Like I said, the Darth Vader books have always been pretty good consistently, amazingly. But the Star Wars books have always been super low quality because they do that weird tracing thing. And it shows. That's why the sales for it are really bad. I don't know whose idea that is to do that stupid Google search tracing. It's been consistent the entire run that they've had this series. I wish they'd stop doing it and just do real art. I don't know if that's to maybe make 
production easier, if that's a call from Disney, I don't know. You know, they're never going to tell us. I just know that it makes the art look like shit. It makes it look like complete ass. But uh, the Darth Vader book, I do like a lot. Highly recommend that. Uh, the Star Wars books, those I, I can't recommend. I'll let you know <laughs> after I read maybe two or three more where I feel on it. But right now, it's, it's friggin' boring. Darth Vader is good, though. That's it, though, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, my next video will be on the Thor comics. And then, you know, I'm all caught up on books. And uh, I can start doing, like, single-issue reviews again. I'll have everything done. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Share the video. Hit the notification bell. Make sure you're still subscribed. Subscribe if you're new. Share the video. All of that good stuff. Uh, look for that Thor video. Probably on Monday because I'm going to C2E2 all weekend. So I will have probably not very much content on this channel. I have pre-recorded stuff on the other one. So uh, check those videos out. I'll see you guys. Peace.